Aaron is on TV.com. Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're doing okay today. Today, I have a little project going on. I got Nicole's old furniture here. I'm going to sand it and refinish it, and uh, I'm going to stain it with this stuff here, a dark mahogany, because we wanted dark furniture, but we were looking at the sets, and they came out to like $2,000 by the time we bought the whole bedroom set. So I figured, since I have yeah. some carpentry skills, I could take this, re uh, sand it down, resurface it, and refinish it with that stain to get the dark furniture that we were going to spend all that money on, because it's actually a nice bedroom set. So that's what I got going on today. I got one I'm sanding over here. I'll show you real quick. Yeah, right over here, I sanded down the whole surface of this, so it's just bare wood. I'm going to sand the whole thing down. I, that only took me like 10 minutes to do that, so it saves me a lot of money and time. So the 30 bucks I spent on the sander actually saved basically like hours of labor in like $1,000 when it came to buying any furniture, so I think she'll be happy with it, doing my manly duties, the man of the house stuff. Anyways, back to sanding. Got my work ahead of me. Got it all sanded down, looking good, ready to be uh, refinished. So it actually was about as easy as the time lapse made it look too. It really didn't take long at all. You just go back and forth until all the stains gone off of it, and that's it. So about to flip it over to the other side, and then I'll restain it. Okay, now I'm gonna go out here and put a little bit of stain on these things and see how they look. All right, pop this open here real quick. All right, sweet. All right, here goes nothing. Awesome. Well, it ended up being the wrong color, basically. It's kind of a little more red than I wanted, and it's not soaking in like I hoped. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that one dry and sand it down and try again. Now I'm going to go ahead and sand the headboard and the other drawers and stuff, uh, so that way I can go get the right stuff and try again. But I'm still saving money. That's the plus. Okay, well, the headboard is sanding up nicely. Got it all sanded out here. And I'm actually going to make some cushions out of vinyl and padding that will fit down in there, so I don't need to sand that. So uh, I went to Lowe's and got some new stain for it, so I'm going to try the new color, and hopefully it'll look a little better. Of course, when I ran to Lowe's, there's a Starbucks, like, right next door to Lowe's, so I had to stop and get my uh, fuel to get me through the project. There we go. The second try came out perfect. That's exactly the color we were hoping for. I guess this is where the cushions are going to go, so I didn't stain that, but, uh, yeah. It really sucks that I'm going to have to sand this thing all the way down, because that is like a thick coat of dark stain. That's going to take a lot of sanding to get that down to smooth enough to stain again, but, oh well, you learn. Okay, got this all sanded. Time to put a little coat of stain on it. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. So there's the first coat on the drawer there. Looks perfect. And uh, I've got a second coat over here now on the headboard drying out. So that looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it's like a nice dark, rich wood color. So, Okay, well, I ended up uh, finishing the headboard today. Got to get the cushions made to put in there. Um, got one of the drawers, got the first coat on that, got that one all sanded. And I went ahead and started sanding the uh, nightstand here just to see if it would come off. And this is the spot where I did really good. And yeah, it comes off no problem. So I'll get that sanded down probably tomorrow morning. Uh, maybe Tuesday when I have the day off, I'll go ahead and put, just redo the whole nightstand and put a second coat on the drawer, get that drawer done, get it all wrapped up. So that way I can get the dresser over here and start working on that. So turning out pretty good, saving a lot of money, like I said earlier. So nice little project. Gives me something to do. Get back to my carpenter roots. So, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take a shower, get cleaned up, and then try to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. Put this nice outside. I feel so much better. All cleaned up. No more stain all over my hands. So, yeah. Try to figure out what I'm going to do now. It's only 6.30. It's too early to call it a night. Whee! Sweet. Shrek's on TV. Awesome. It's kind of funny, I'm sitting here watching uh, CTFXC Internet Killed Television on my uh, computer here, and that Porsche back there is the one from my vlog Day 127 when I called it, there's a Porsche in our mall. That's the Porsche, you can go back and check it out. Thought it was funny.
Uh, clearly, I get really bored when I get left alone. That's why I'm not allowed to be alone very often. Because I get bored. Okay, sweet. Well, my sister texted me, and I'm going to go meet up with her and Steve over at Starbucks for a little bit. So I don't have to sit here alone in my room talking to myself. I totally forgot my car was outside. Oops. There's my furniture again. Sweet, green light, score. It's kind of hard to tell, but that is actually an awesome Maserati in front of me. As if they're not all awesome. Well, here we are again. Oh man, I come to this place way too often. There needs to be like a uh, support group or something. Hey, it's, it's Steve and my sister, Kristen. Do you think there needs to be a support group for Starbucks? For people like me, I've been. This is my second time today. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh, it's freaking cold out here. I'm throwing my iced drink away. It's like Florida and it's Arctic outside. We're all babies. <laughs> it's cold. And I'm wearing flip flops. I underestimated the temperature. There's this cool new place we're excited about. That's why we walked out here in the cold to see when they're open till, or when they're gonna be open till, or whatever. Okay, it's cold. We finished our sam or our drinks, so we're going back to the apartment to watch Family Guy and stuff. I know it gets much colder where some of you people live, but I was born and raised right here, so you can expect me to be able to handle the cold very well. Okay, we're seeking shelter in the apartment. It's nice and warm in here. The internet is safe. Oh, it is warm. Okay, we're gonna order Jimmy John's for dinner. Because it's delicious, and what we're going to do is, since they usually deliver so freaking fast to Best Buy when I'm there, we're going to time how long it takes to get to the apartments, because I'm going to be living in these same apartments, so it's going to be fun. So as soon as we order it, we'll start timing. All right, Jimmy John's is here. What's the time? 21.30. 21 minutes. Oh, they're here. Subs are here. Is your sub good? It's awesome. No. And Family Guy's on. That makes everything better. That was fun. Eat some food. Watch some TV. Now I'm heading home. Which will actually very soon be right over there. In a week. So I just got home and uh, totally forgot that the furniture was in my garage and almost ran it over. That would have totally sucked. Okay guys, I'm home. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to wrap it up. Had a pretty good day today. Made a lot of progress on the furniture. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. So uh, you have a good one. Thanks for watching. Good night.